Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode number 5 of SWF Showdown Where we showcase some of the superstars who haven't been lately We've got some great matchups for you this evening Two, A tag team matchup and an 8 women's battle royal Thank you for joining us here in Orlando, Florida Let's get into it right now Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring our newest signings here in SWF and our first official signings as a tag team. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dino D and SDC. Together, they are aggression. And ladies and gentlemen, they have signed here in SWF in an effort to start this tag team division, the team they will be facing was recently formed. And they also want to get this tag team division going. So, fellow SWF men's roster, if you want to uh, join our tag team division, hit up the fellas in the backstage area. Find yourself a partner. By God, we may just have ourselves a tournament. So to start things off, we have our first actual teams in our tag team division here. This, as I said, Dino D and SDC, this is aggression. Their opponents this evening, as I said, newly formed and a new member to SWF. This group, if you will, was formed on Rebellion. As you can see, there is Bruiser Brad, and we have Malcolm Black. Ladies and gentlemen, they are part of the Fallen Kingdom. Their leader, Mason Foster, has decided that SWF needs to be fallen and the fallen kingdom ladies and gentlemen are going to start things off here against aggression as we see them slowly making their way out of the ring malcolm black as i said newly swf showdown has become the show for new signees and those that uh, haven't been showcased on rebellion we have a whopping 51 roster that Includes the women, but ladies and gentlemen, we have 30 men. We have 20, or excuse me, we have, I believe, 30 men. 30 men, we have 21 women, and that is, uh, to me, that is amazing. In such a short time, we have over 50 signees. That is great. That is very good. Now, we've got our tag team action going here. Dino and Brad in the ring, and Dino is taking it to the big man. Commentator's curse as I said that. Brad destroys Dino with a huge headbutt. Bruiser Brad uh, kind of in a, in a feud right now with Jay Wolf. Brad and Mason Foster took it to the internet champion, Siler Jordan. At the end of uh, Rebellion last week, or earlier this week, you see Malcolm quickly going up top. Oh my, what's he got in store here for Dino? Oh my God! A DDT from the top rope, my goodness. And he's going to follow that up with a reverse DDT. Mason Foster won that uh, Internet Champions Open Challenge uh, poll on Twitter as Bruiser Brad stands right in the way of the camera. Thanks for doing that, you giant tree. Dino hooks Malcolm up. Got him up. Oh, Fisherman Suplex Driver to Malcolm. And looks like uh, he might be... Nope, I thought he might be going for the pin. Here we go, SDC coming in. And he's going to go right after Malcolm Black. As I was saying, Mason Foster won that 
Internet Champions Open Challenge poll on Twitter. Uh, but in the end, ended up falling. Nice hurricane runner by Malcolm Black. Ended up falling to Siler Jordan. Which after that matchup, Mal Malcolm Foster is SDC is Hunter Jordan. Bruiser Brad came out and in, in what looked like an effort to stop the beating, only to join in on that beating, and thus the Fallen Kingdom was created. And then during this week, we signed Malcolm Black. Nice reversal there into a neck breaker. Very good. Very good move there by Black. We signed Mike, Malcolm Black. Rebecca Evans is also part of the Fallen Kingdom. Our first um, official faction here in SWF. Malcolm Black with the reversal. Shots to the gut. Quickly followed by... An, oh my god! What a powerbomb by SDC. As I said, they were quickly followed by aggression. Dino D and SDC. Part of WIW. Oh, nice neck breaker there. They thought SWF could use some tag team action, which I don't uh, I don't blame them. I could agree. And Dino, and in a bad way, quickly reversing, though. And very good ring awareness. And just as can be said from Malcolm Black, getting out of a bad situation... You don't want to be in your opponent's corner, that's for sure. Snapmare and a kick right to the back of Dino. Then Dino might be crawling towards his tag team partner in an effort to get the tag, and Malcolm Black lets him think he's going to get there. And at the last second, oh, man. Working the knees. Is Dino going to be able to get over there? Who knows? First goes Dino up. And what's he got here? A rolling Death Valley driver. Very nice move there. Dino. And now he's got Black up on his shoulders. And Black with the reversal. DDT. Wow. Malcolm Black really impressing. Impressing the board right now. He's able, though. Dino is able to get a tag in on SDC. But Black shuts that down in a hurry. And a drop kick. Going for a super kick as Black. SDC drops him down hard to the mat. And a running, oh my god, a bicycle knee right to the chin. I've been hit with that bicycle knee before. Not from SDC, but in general, that is a that is not a good move to be hit with. Right in the right in the chin. Duck by SDC. Low kick. He's hooked him up. And Black now with the airplane. Nice head scissors right there. And in a smart move, he's going to tag the big man in. Get out of that ring while you can. Big kick to the lower back. And a... Jeez. SDC is not going to be able to walk. And a nice reversal there. No. Brad tosses SDC right down to the mat. Big backbreaker. Good lord. Brad taking out all the momentum from SDC and hits him with a backbreaker. And oh! That might be it, folks. That might be it. We've seen that move before. And look at this. And stomps after stomp. Good lord. And these guys are going to town on SDC, rotating it in and out. Shot after shot to the chest. Those big boots of bread. Look at this. They're going to finish it off. Oh, and a drop kick by Malcolm Black. That's one hell of a move. He's going to go for the pin. Brad just whips in Dino. And somehow SDC is able to kick out at two. And Malcolm Black's had enough, it looks like. He's going to take the... The top pad off that off that turnbuckle. Brad now coming in. Dino still laying on the outside. And here we go, Brad. He's got SDC up. And in, in just sheer 
survival. A spinning kick to the back of the head of Brad. And look at this. Take down the big man. You take down the trunk. You bring down the tree. That is a great strategy there. SDC. Uh, Brad is half as tall as SDC, and he's sitting down. Good Lord. Nice unexpected move there from Brad. Dragging SD Oh! That's 500 pounds of, of man right across your chest. And he takes a shot to the face, and he's going to send Brad over the top rope. Wow. The referee arguing with Malcolm Black. And SDC goes flying over the top rope, taking out Bruiser Brad. What a move. And he sets what that is. My goodness. But Brad, undeterred and unaffected, big clothesline. Ref pleading with them to get back in the ring. Ooh. Nice move there. Reversal. And a night takedown by SDC, the ref counting away up to six. These fellas better get in the ring. Tossing Brad in. Brad's in a bad way in the opposite side of the ring here. SDC, I think, he, I think you need to tag your partner in if you want to have any chance here. And Brad blocks it and throws SDC down to the mat. And before he can get the tag, Brad's going to stop him. He's going to shut that down in a hurry. Nice whip by SDC. What is he thinking? And in a roll-up here, one, two. SDC able to get Brad off, but you're taunting in the center of the ring. That's what I think. And a nice clothesline from behind. Big body splash. Brad takes a second to revel. Dino, nice drop kick, sends Brad down. A second and a third. Brad stays down after that third, and Dino going after him. Hooking up Brad, and a big rolling elbow right to the face. And immediately going after Brad, he might have gone for the pin after that elbow, but he pays for it. Brad, not an easy man to keep down. Although, if you ask Jay Wolf, he would beg to differ. Oh! Codebreaker there from Dino. And Brad has been busted open, but he doesn't let that stop him. And look at this. Sideways. Up and then down. He is done for, ladies and gentlemen. Center of the ring. Dino's hit with that waist side slam. And no! Able to kick out at two. And Brad is totally exhausted. My goodness. Well, I would say for our first official tag team matchup here on the men's side, this has been one hell of a match. Brad finally making it to his feet just as Dino does. And a shot to the arm and shoulder. He's going to send Dino into the corner now. No. Double underhook. And just throwing. Black making his way in now. And he's just taunting at Dino, begging him to get up. And he catches a boot right to the back. Malcolm Black going up top now. Oh, man. Oh, my God. 450. Going for the pin. One, two. No. SDC came in, but Dino didn't need the help. Holy cow. Big, big clothesline. From Malcolm Black. Bringing Dino up to one knee. And oh going for a DDT. Dino is able to get out of it. Oh my god. Malcolm Black pays. Back that power bomb. Good lordy. Dropping the elbow. Man what a power bomb that was. He just planted Dino. And how is Dino even still functioning. After the power bomb. And the waist slam. From Brad. And now a kick right to the jaw. Great teamwork here by the Fallen Kingdom. As Black tags in Brad. Showing, showing the guns there to SDC as he stomps on the back of Dino. Oof. 
Jawbreaker. And a hurricane on the big man, the seven footer. Goes down. SDC comes in. And what are we going to see here? Brad has got to be out of it, I think. Spending most of the time in this matchup. And he dodges the double axe handle. Oh, and he eats a. He eats a breaker, following it up by a big clothesline. Ladies and gentlemen, Fallen Kingdom might be in trouble. Brad gets out of that stomp. Oh, man, right in front of his partner. Jeez. That's a big man coming right down across your lower back. Into the corner goes SDC. And Brad might have been going for a, tag, a double team move. Oh, jumping DDT. Now SDC with the fundamental tag team here. Oh, Brad trying to make it over to his partner, and no. Dino's going to drag him away. Chopping down the legs. Nice move there. SDC getting the crowd fired up here in Orlando, Florida. Mmm. Going for a springboard tope right in the face of Malcolm Black, which is uh, kind of strange and a big kick. That kick might put Dino out of it. And here we go, folks. Tagging in. And this might be it. Look at the skyscraper station as Malcolm heads out. Big drop right across the chest of Dino. And he's going to go for the pin here. One, no. SDC going to break it up and stop that kick. Look at this. German suplex to Malcolm Black. SDC just saved his team. Their first loss here in this in their first official matchup. Black slow to his feet after that German. But is the first one to get up. Dino taking that reverse DDT. Not his first. Probably won't be his last. Black's got him up now. And a big lariat by Black. Picks him up right away. Oh, crucifix. Might have, might have thought of going for the pin there, but changes his mind. Perfect position. Malcolm Black climbing up to the top rope here. Oh, big elbow drop, and that might be it. One, two, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fallen Kingdom get their first victory here in our tag team division. Look at the ducking the lariat and these two guys just tagging in and out, taking SDC to the shed. They end those boots with a big drop kick right to the rib cage. And look at that over the top rope, spinning in midair. And here's where Brad is busted open. Nice code breaker there from Dino. But in the end, the skyscraper elbow drop from the Fallen Kingdom hand them their first victory as a tag team and the first victory in this whole tag team division. What a matchup. Your winners, ladies and gentlemen, Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black, the Fallen Kingdom. Here we go, folks. Coming up next, Space. we have the ever-confident J Primetime Green. This is J Primetime making his way down to the ring here. Um, Jay's only had one other match here in um, SWF. He looks to add to his winning column as it is empty right now. Right now he's got uh, just the one loss. Will Jay Green be able to pull out a victory here on Showdown? He'll have to capture the swag to do so. Let's see if he can be that prime time 
after he loses to Vice in the first round of the tournament for the Elite Heavyweight Championship, demanding to be in the main event, and then um, losing that main event to Vice, as I said. But let's see if he can't get the victory here tonight in our second matchup on Showdown. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Green stands in the ring, ready to face off. His opponent is the newcomer, ladies and gentlemen. He was involved in the 20-man rumble at Crowning Achievement Prime. But this is his first matchup here, his first singles match. This is Crane, ladies and gentlemen, and looking cocky as ever, Stopping and just looking at this local crowd here in Orlando doesn't seem doesn't seem too impressed. The crane is going to get in the ring here, see if he can't sneak one out, pull one over on Jay Green. But Jay is going to do everything he can. Like I said, he has only one matchup so far and lost that matchup. He is going to look to redeem himself. As Crane steps into the ring, we get ready for our second matchup of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, moving right along here. It is the newcomer Crane. He's taking on Jay Green. And holy cow, what a shot there by Green. And a knee right across the face. Now, we've seen Crane before. He faced off in that 20-man battle royal, 20-man rumble winner, or excuse me, rumble, at uh, the Crowning Achievement Prime show. Crane eliminated... Jay Green, actually, and Bruiser Brad. So an interesting development there. Crane and Green going at it. Green a little a little upset with the newcomer. Um, Jay not having the greatest time here in SWF. Has one loss and no wins. And what a Luthez there by Green going at it against Crane. It, these two guys... More so Jay Green than Crane. Jay's a little peeved. So he is going to be taking out all of his pent-up frustration since that Rumble matchup at Crowning Achievement. He's going to take it out on Crane, hanging up the newcomer on the top rope. What a move. I mean, this, is, this match has been all Jay Green so far. Prime time Jay Green up and, and hangs him up on the ropes to as he brings him down with that suplex. Wow. Look at that. Good Lord, the speed of primetime. What a move. And that's it. He hits him with the trouble in paradise. And is he going to win just like that against the newcomer Crane? No. Crane not ready to give up. Wow. Jay... Jay really going at it here. Nice reversal by Crane. And now Crane says it's my turn. He's got Jay up on his shoulders into a flapjack. Nice move. And going those 12 to 6 elbows right across the collarbone and chest area of Green. Crane getting this crowd Fired up here in Orlando, Florida. Nice clothesline. A second. Ducking a clothesline from Green. Tilt a world backbreaker. And he's got Green up. Look at this. Up on his shoulders again. He's got the airplane going. TKO to Green. 
quickly going for the pin. This has been a fast-paced match, and Green says, no, sir, not tonight. You're not getting off that easily. Not even a one count. He absorbs the kick from Crane and gets up, and European uppercuts Crane into the rafters, and now working that back as Crane tries to crawl towards the ropes. Look at this. Oh, battles out, tripping up primetime. Shot to the bet. Look at this. Up and down. Oh, my God. Back, back body drop into a knee buster. And he goes for the pin again here. One, two, no. Getting a two count this time. Green kicks out. He does not want to give this man the satisfaction. Begging Primetime to get up to his feet. Up and look at that. Nice move. And goes right after him again. Hooking him up. Oh! Shots to the top of the head. Going off one side and oh! Green able to scoot out of the way of that elbow shot to Crane. He's got Crane up on his shoulder again. Face first right into the top turnbuckle. Thank goodness the ref put that turnbuckle pad back on after Black took it off in the last match. He's dragging him out, going for a pin. Is he going to sneak it out here? No. Not even a one count. Jay Green is not ready to give up. He's not going to let the rookie get a victory over him after he dumped him over the top rope at crowning achievement. Look at this, and Jay, Jay knows the moves now. Able to get his way out of it there. Over the top, though, goes Jay. And Crane right in his face. But Jay over the top. Brings him down. Quickly going for the pin. Center of the ring. One. Two. No. Two count. Oh! Elbow to the face of Jay, and he's been busted open. And Crane gets the airplane going again. Finish that off right on the showdown logo with the TKO. Does he go for the pin? No. He is not done with Jay. Backbreaker. And now, now he goes for the pin. Just wanted to hurt the lower back area. Of Jay, make it a little harder for him to kick out, but he's able to do so anyway. And Crane wants to know what he's got to do to put this guy away, and it might be this right here. Jay stumbling to his feet, up, and a second time, knee to the face, going for the pin. One, two, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Crane making his singles debut. Gets a victory over primetime. Trouble in paradise. Jay started this matchup off very fast. Trying to knock the rookie off early and quickly. But it, he just wasn't going to give up. Showing that, hey, I'm not only great in the Royal Rumble matchup. Tossing people over the top rope. But I can do one-on-one -on -one also. Crane with a shot. And the backbreaker there only to end it with that back body drop face buster across the knee you see Jay roll out of the ring well what a great debut for Crane not so much of a great matchup for Jay but your winner ladies and gentlemen the rookie Crane now ladies and gentlemen our main event here at showdown is an eight woman over the top rope battle royal Introducing eight of the newest women signees to our maidens division. We've got Malaysia, Faria Fury, Danielle Jane, Aliyah Marie, Rebecca Evans, who is a part of the Fallen Kingdom, Quinn, Pasadena, and Amaya Fox.
Back from commercial, ladies and gentlemen, and my goodness, what a crazy thing to see as we see all eight women in the ring go at it at once. It looks like Aaliyah might be eliminating Fiery of Fury, and no. Fiery is able to fight out of it. Quinn able to fight off Rebecca Evans over there. And who's got, okay, Pasadena throwing Danielle Jane over, but looks like Jane's able to fight out of it. My goodness. What a crazy thing to see right away coming off commercial break. All of these ladies have newly been signed to SWF. As I said, 21 uh, women here in our mains division. Look at, and oh, oh look like Quinn might have been going over. Rachel, excuse me, Rebecca Evans unable to finish it. Oh my goodness, Pasadena sending Danielle Jane over the top rope in a hurry. We are down to seven. And Re oh, Pasadena going after Faria. Tries to go with a clothesline over the top rope, but she works her way back in. Danielle Jane out there on the outside, the first person eliminated here. And Faria with a reversal on Pasadena drops the DDT. Rebecca Evans working on Amaya Fox in the corner. Is she, is she going to be able to get her up there? Aaliyah now working on Malaysia. Quinn kind of biding her time. Malaysia able to get out of it and a nice drop kick by Amaya up in the top area. Pasadena with the reversal. Hurricane Rana by Malaysia. There's a lot going on. Amaya Fox taunting towards the crowd area. It looked like a Pele kick from Quinn on Rebecca Evans. Faria sending Aliyah into the corner. Oh, and a nice reversal from Aaliyah. Rebecca Evans going at it with Quinn. Quinn might have the opportunity to get an elimination. Into the corner goes Malaysia. Rebecca Evans able to get out of it. My gosh, so much is going on here. Amaya Fox working to get Malaysia out of this matchup. Aaliyah working to get Faria Fury out of this matchup. And over the top rope goes Rebecca Evans by Quinn. She has been eliminated from this matchup. What a main event this is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this power slam by Faria. DDT from uh, Amaya Fox and Pasadena with that power bomb. Faria, D Hurricane Rana DDT. Oh, my goodness. Nice move there by Faria. Pasadena with the nice senton on Amaya Fox. And Quinn now has Malaysia in the corner. Trying to eliminate Malaysia by hooking that leg and getting her over the top rope. Oh, big Pele kick from Faria. And she's going after Amaya. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. What a belly to belly. To Amaya Fox, my goodness. Fantastic move from our only female luchador here in SWF. She goes right after right after Malaysia there, trying to get her over the top rope. And no, she's gonna get out of it. Pasadena with a kick to the gut of, of Amaya Fox. Aaliyah, big kick to the back of the head of Quinn. Look at this. Over the top goes Faria. Malaysia, big clothesline sending out Faria Fury into the corner. And oh, what a reversal. Oh, and another reversal. Big knee to the face and a super kick from Amaya Fox. Faria is going, walking her way back to the backstage area. Quinn taunting to the crowd, getting these people fired up into the corner look at this Quinn big clothesline sends Pasadena over the top rope and now she goes after Malaysia Amaya Fox and Aaliyah going at it here in the corner no Amaya's out but Malaysia now in trouble Quinn unable to eliminate her 
They switch partners here. Aliyah's got Quinn in the corner. Kicks to the lower leg area. Just gonna pick her up. Big bomb from the corner. Nice move there. Fox. Oh. Malaysia able to get out of it. Elbows to the gut of Fox. And now again, they switch partners. Fox grabbed by Aaliyah. Oh boy, here we go. Over goes Amaya Fox, and it is down to three. Quinn in the corner. Malaysia trying to do what she can to get Quinn out, and nice, nice job by Aaliyah. Marie just going to sit back and let whatever happens, happens, and Quinn happens to go over the top rope. And ladies and gentlemen, the final two. Malaysia, face first goes Aaliyah. Nice move there. As these two ladies are going to finish out our evening here on Showdown. <clears throat> wow, big move from the second turnbuckle diving pretty far across the ring. And Aaliyah now. Is she going to try to do the same? She's going to taunt Malaysia up to her feet. And oh my gosh, Hens headbutt right to the face right to the bridge of the nose and look at this wheelbarrow face buster nice move there by Aaliyah it looks like she might get this victory she's got her up hooking those arms face first the clash by Aaliyah and that might be it she quickly picks up and oh man spinning heel kick Aliyah's got to try to get this done because M Malaysia could come back at any second. The over-the-top battle royal is unpredictable. Sweeping the leg of Aliyah, And now Malaysia's in full control. And she's got Aliyah by the head. This could be it, folks. This could be it. No. Reversal. Forearm shot to the face by a big kick to the stomach now. Malaysia going all in on Aaliyah. Kicks and chops. Oh, my gosh. Taking it to Aaliyah. And Aaliyah hooks her up. Snap suplex. Oh, reversal. Knee to the back. What a sequence that was. And now working the legs of Aaliyah. She's going to pick Aaliyah Marie up to her feet now. Center of the ring, hook her up. Fisherman suplex driver. And remember, you got to go over the top rope, Malaysia. You cannot win by pinfall here. Big insecurity to the back of the head. Chops followed by a, a right hand and a forearm. Up and fall away slam. My goodness, Malaysia... Just taking it to Aaliyah Marie. She is just in it for the for the blood, in it for the fight. Look at this. Good lord, torture rack style. Oh. Both shoulder blades right into the lower back of Aaliyah. And that could be it for her. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Aaliyah coming back. Malaysia with the forearm block and a nice northern lights wow plenty of time for eliminations but these two ladies just taking it to each other here and again face first goes Aaliyah Malaysia though taking her sweet time not trying to end this matchup so quickly oh elbows to the top of the head she is using this moment to shine, that is for sure. Up, and oh, nice reversal though by Aaliyah. Drop kick right to the chest of Malaysia. And now, oof, okay. I don't know what's happening here. Look at this. Oh, Death Valley driver from Malaysia. These ladies, they're trying to show 
that they need to be top of the list here in the maidens division. Into the corner goes Aaliyah. Malaysia spinning her around. Could this be it? She is definitely trying up. She's got her on the top rope. Can she get her over? Malaysia pushes. Oh, boy. It's close, and there it is. Aaliyah tossed out of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is Malaysia in this eight-woman battle royal. Holy cow. What a matchup this was. As we see here, nice reversal there by Amaya Fox. And here we go. Boom. Aaliyah Marie with the clash. Malaysia with that Malaysian backbreaker and the Malaysian face buster before sending Aaliyah Marie over the top rope. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, in this eight maiden battle royal, it is Malaysia. Thank you all for joining us for Showdown. Come back soon where we come back with Rebellion.